The Australian Space Research Institute was formed in the early 1990s with the merger of the AUSROC Launch Vehicle Development Group at Monash University, Melbourne and the Australian Space Engineering Research Association The Institute is a non-profit organisation run entirely by volunteers. Most of the work at ASRI is done in collaboration with Australian universities such as the Royal Melbourne Institute of Technology, Queensland University of Technology and the University of Technology, Sydney. As of 2006, ASRI is developing a vision for the future of Australia's space community, including industry. ASRI does not receive any direct government funding. The ASRI was created to provide opportunities for space-related industry and technology development for the Australian technical community. History of space activities in Australia During the heyday of rocketry research in the 1960s Australia was the seventh nation to launch a satellite, WRESAT, into orbit, and the third from its own soil. The joint British-Australian Blue Streak program to develop intercontinental ballistic missiles ended in the late 1960s. Around the same time the European Launcher Development Organisation was established to develop a European satellite launch vehicle. Woomera, Australia, was chosen as the launch site for the test vehicles. Australia was granted status as the only non-European member of ELDO one of the precursors to the European Space Agency in return for providing the launch facilities. A series of successful launches was conducted from 1964 to 1970 with the aim of reaching orbit and eventually orbiting an operational satellite. The final launch attempt of ELDO's Europa 1 launch vehicle took place at Woomera on 12 June 1970 however the satellite failed to reach orbit. No successful satellite launch was ever achieved by the ELDO and European satellite launch activities then shifted to the French site at Kourou, in French Guiana, which is now home to Ariane launches. Since then Australian space-related activities have been virtually non-existent. The goal of the ASRI is to re-establish Australia as a significant player in the global space industry. Topic: <inaudible> Sounding rockets. The Small Sounding Rocket Program (SSRP), initiated in the mid-1990s, provides Australian educational institutions with a low-cost payload launch service. The service has expanded to include to individuals, companies, foreign universities and non-commercial organizations seeking assistance to launch their own vehicles. Launches are conducted twice a year from Woomera, South Australia. Two types of rockets are used. CITER, a solid fuel rocket capable of launching a 3 kg payload to an altitude of 5.9 km at speeds over Mach 1, and Zuni, a solid fuel rocket capable of launching a heavier payload to an altitude of approximately 7 km, and reaching speeds of Mach 2.5. <laughs> Launch vehicle development The aim of the AUSROC program is to develop a micro-satellite launch vehicle capable of being scaled up for use in heavier launch vehicles. Topic. AUSROCI The AUSROCI program commenced in 1988 with a group of undergraduate students in mechanical engineering at Monash University, who designed and built AUSROCI. It was successfully launched on 9 February 1989. The flight lasted one minute, reaching 3 km in altitude and 161 m per second. AUSROCI was a liquid-fueled rocket based on a modified Pacific Rocket Society design. Topic: <laughs> AUSROC2. AUSROC2 was a larger pressure-fed kerosene oxygen bipropellant rocket that was developed in the 1990s. It was designed to reach an altitude of 10 kilometers. The first attempt at launching an AUSROC-2 suffered a spectacular failure on the launch pad in 1992. 
The subsequent rocket, named AUSROCE-2 was successfully launched in 1995 from Woomera, although it did not reach its target apogee due to pressurization problems with the LOX tank. AUSROC 2.5 AUSROC 2.5 was designed to provide an intermediate step between the AUSROC 2 and 3 programs. It uses the same size engine as the AUSROC 3 but with simpler and easier to implement cooling methods. The primary objective was to deliver a 10 kg payload to an altitude of 20 km and recover the rocket intact. AUSROC 2.5 was the principal subject of current development's efforts. It was projected to launch in late 2007. Prior to that, a key milestone was the ground testing of the propulsion subsystem. The project is currently seeking volunteers to assist with manufacturing, integration and testing. Topic. AUSROC 3. AUSROC-3 was designed to launch a payload of 150 kg to an altitude of 500 km. It was a sounding rocket that will incorporate active guidance for live steering, and a steerable parachute recovery system. <laughs> AUSROC-IV AUSROC-IV was the final stage of the AUSROC program and consisted of five AUSROC-IIIs, four for the first stage and one for the second stage. It was intended to place a small satellite up to 35 kilograms into a low Earth orbit. <laughs> AUSROC-Nano AUSROC Nano is a three-stage, liquid-liquid-solid orbital launch vehicle, designed to launch a payload of 10 kg into low Earth orbit at an altitude of 300 km. It was designed to incorporate a rapid setup and launch capability that would provide the payload with the option of polar or equatorial orbit profiles. <laughs> Zuni rockets. The Australian government has donated its Zuni rockets to the ASRI for use for student experiments which are launched from the Woomera launching range. Every year, a few Zunis are launched there. ASRI has also designed and constructed custom nose cones and payload recovery mechanisms for the Zuni. With a payload of 20 kg, the Zuni has an approximate range of 5.9 km, which it attains in about 40 seconds, experiencing 55 grams and 491 meters per second Mach 1.4 during the flight. <laughs> Satellites The discontinued Astralis microsatellite program aimed to develop a low-cost, autonomous satellite that could be used for a variety of applications such as low Earth orbit communications, remote sensing and small-scale science experiments. JAESAT Joint Australian Engineering Satellite is a collaboration between ASRI, the Cooperative Research Centre for Satellite Systems, the Queensland University of Technology and Ukrainian Youth Aerospace Association, SUSIRIA, that began in 1997. The project was put on hold in 2000 when CRCSS withdrew funds due to cost and schedule overruns with a joint American-Australian venture, FedSat. Topic. Hypersonics The Center for Hypersonics at the University of Queensland UQ, performs extensive research into developing the science behind scramjet propulsion. The Hypersonics project, currently on hold, is a joint effort between ASRI and UQ to develop a free flight scramjet engine. Topic. See also Commonwealth Scientific and Industrial Research Organization